Hello everyone, I am Siddharth from Tips and Tricks and in this video, I am going to tell you the difference between Adriano and Mali GPUs and going to find out which one is better. First, let's talk about Mali. Mali is the GPU series maintained by ARM technology. They are used by most of the chip makers such as MediaTek, Samsung, Stratum and Nvidia. Pros and Cons of Mali First, let's talk about pros of Mali. Number 1. Low Price Chipsets for all Mali is cheaper than other chipsets. Even a smaller company without much investments can use these chipsets. That is why a lot of budget oriented smartphones come with Mali GPU. Number 2. High Clock Speeds Mali GPUs have higher clock speed than most of the Adriano GPUs even in the top end. For example, most popular Snapdragon 625 has Adriano 506 GPU which has a clock speed of 650 MHz. While in the same segment, Mali T880 offers a clock speed of 850 MHz. As a result, Mali GPU is better suited for rendering graphics. Now let's talk about cons of Mali. Number 1. Fewer Shader Cores Mali GPUs have fewer shader cores than its competitor. Mali has less G-flops compared to Adriano. G-flop means billion floating operation per second, which is a measure of performance which is less in Mali. This is why top-end games such as Asphalt 8 Art fail to play efficiently on Mali GPUs. Number 2. Limited Configuration For example, Mali T720 MP2 contains only 2 cores. Also, if you talk about budget smartphones such as Lenovo K8 Note, it has Mali T880 MP4 which has 4 cores while in the same price we will get Adriano 506 GPU from other brands like Xiaomi which has better configuration than Mali T880. Number 3rd Overheat Due to high clock frequency, Mali GPU are more versatile that leads to overheating. You can observe overheating issues while processing heavy applications or playing games on your mobile. Now let's talk about Adriano. Adriano is the name of the GPU series developed by Qualcomm for use in their SoCs. Companies like Xiaomi, LG and some phone of Samsung using Adriano GPUs and even Google Pixel uses Adriano 540 GPU. Pros of Adriano Number 1 High Performance Adriano performance is higher than Mali, thus in Snapdragon 625, processing power of Adriano 506 is about 130 G flops while its rival MTK Helio P10 with GP Mali T860 MP2 has the processing power of only 47 G flops. Number 2 Support for newer API Adriano has a larger set of API that is software development tools and they are newer versions than Mali. Number 3 Less tendency to overheat Due to lower clock frequency and multiple processors, Adriano GPUs are more powerful and on average less likely to overheat than Mali. Now let's talk about cons of Adriano. Number 1. Expensive Qualcomm manages more than pay for licensing armed Mali competitors. Therefore, the American company chipsets are more expensive than the same MTK. Number 2. Worst optimization software about 20% of all smartphones sold in the world use Mali graphics. As a result, the proportion of Mali on the market is greater and game developer optimize them in the first place. Number 3. Small frit rate in rendering. In Adriano, texturing is relatively weak. Adriano 530 is able to render 600 million triangles per second while Mali G71 does a much better job by rendering 850 million triangles per second. Now, conclusion. On the side of Adriano, more powerful computing units, better support for new technologies, the fewer problem with heating. But Mali is taking accessibility, powerful rendering domain, clock frequency and popularity thanks to software optimization. In reality, at initial a budget, Mali is preferable but in solid middle class and flagship Adreno takes the lead which is not surprising. So thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel.